Prepare for countdown. Live streaming in three, two, one. Hey everyone and welcome back. It is me once again. I know your most favorite, favorite host of Cabillion. Uh, you had Kaya and Justin yesterday talk all about E3. So if you're a subscriber, you can check the past video recordings. If not, don't worry. I think we'll be putting the video eventually on our YouTube channel where we have a whole archive of not only past recordings, but also full episodes of shows. So be sure to check uh, Kabillion on YouTube. Actually, Kabillion's on anywhere. Just Google Kabillion. We got the Instagrams. We got the Facebooks. We got uh, whatever you popular kids are using nowadays. We are, we are everywhere, yes. Thank you, Ligma. Um, so, um, I decided, let's make Friday a usual thing. Give me Friday, Kabillion. And they said, Lindsay, go for it. <laughs> so we're gonna do kind of whatever graphic design stuff I feel like doing on Fridays. So we're just gonna call it the Extreme Graphic Design Hour. We're gonna try to keep it to around an hour, maybe two, depending on how the design is going. And feel free to learn or hang out or give some feedback or whatever. So if you haven't noticed, um, we do have three emotes. These are the three emotes for each tier. The orange, oh, the blue one is tier one, the angry blue, which I feel everyone gets angry here and there. So I think that is probably the most used one. So for $5, you can use this angry emote on any Twitch channel. Then we got this orange licky tongue one. And uh, I don't know, that one's my favorite. I'm sure you can find ways to use it. And then just finished um, the thumbs up one. So what we're gonna do is we're go I do not feel, uh, what is that? I do not feel emotions. <laughs> That's okay, these emotes will allow you to represent emotions. So if you didn't have them before, here you go. These are all the ones you need. Angry, Licky, and Cool, what's up? Those are the three emotes that you will even need to use in in the history of conversation. You don't need joy or love or anything like that, just these three and that's all. Um, so if you notice the channel, um, we have updated a couple of things and we're gonna continuously updating because Kabillion is ever changing. Um, so we now have a cheer cup on the bottom of the screen. It's uh, over, wow, over there. <laughs> near the green guy. But as you can see, it's absolutely boring and you can barely tell it's there. So we're gonna manipulate one of these three squids and put it in the cup and kind of interact it with the cup, making it um, um, just kind of cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of, you know, I'll lift the head out of one of them. I don't know which one I wanna use. I mean, they're all really cool. Like, it's great. Like, oh, thumbs up, thanks for the cheer. Or should it just be a slimy, licky tongue one with the arms hanging over the glass, just kind of like, eh, I'm slimy, give me cheer bits? Or should it be the angry one just stuck in a cup going like, well, how did I get here? How did I get here in life? So you guys maybe can help me pick which one of these three uh, I'll do. But I definitely want to um, have the legs coming out of the cup. And I still want to have the kind of um, feeling that it's in the cup. So we're going to do a little bit of layering. So for those of you who use OBS, who are streamers rather than viewers, um, we're going to do it in layers. So I'm going to take the main body of the uh, squid and I'm going to put it in a layer behind the cup. So you can, so it looks like he's in the cup and you'll have the transparency of the cup and he'll have, he won't be super clear. It will look like he's in glass. And then the arms will come up on that same layer, but in a layer in front of the cup, I'm going to have the arms like that are in full color, full frontal view hanging over it as in front of the cup. So that way um, it will look like he's in it. And, and that's the only way we can really manipulate it. So <laughs> that's what we are going to do. Um, I have the, a screen grab of the cup just over here. So it's low res, but it doesn't matter. As long as I get to figure out the shape of the cup, that's all. Um, and um, I guess, let's see what's going on here. So let me just work with my layers for a second. I've got a lot going on here because this is my file.
from uh, designing the emotes, so it's a little messy. And you always wanna practice what you preach, meaning I should have had good layers. Oh my God, look at that. We got one bitty in the cup and there isn't even a squid in there yet. Thank you, Just Informed, for that bitty bit. And uh, three bitty bits, thank you, that's awesome. Wow, I didn't even design the cup yet and we're already getting bits, that's crazy. Um, we also have, uh, if you notice, straight below me and straight below my name, uh, we have a cheer goal. Um, so right now at 2,500 bits, something might happen. I don't know. Do you guys want to get there? Do you want to see what happens? We don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. All we know is something will happen. So if you want to find out what that is, participate. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll have one of these cool squids in that cup to help entice. Um, <laughs> it'll be funny that like the squid will be drowning <laughs> in bits, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but anyway, <laughs> no squids were abused in the making of this Twitch channel, just safely saying. Um, so I'm just gonna organize some of my layers. But in the meantime, you guys, what do you wanna see? Which squid do you wanna see in that cup? Do you wanna see a tongue licking the inside of the glass and legs sticking out? Legs are gonna stick out regardless because that is the fun part for me. That's what I wanna do. Um, or do you want like the cool guy with like, he's in there and then his legs are sticking out? Um, or do you want like a grumpy one that's kind of like, why the hell am I in this cup right now? Like, this is the worst job ever. Why did Kabillion give me this job? <laughs> so let me know what you guys want to put in there. I'm not making a new squid right now. We don't have time for that. But while you guys think, I can work on the legs that will be sticking out of the cup. Um, but yeah, as I said, first I'm going to just clean my layers up a little bit. What did I do over here? This is a horrible mess. Okay, this will be in a new layer. Boom. So we got the orange, we got that. Now let's do, what are these layers even? Sometimes I have ghost layers and I have no idea what I was trying to do with them. Let's just get rid of the clipping mask so I can kind of just see everything there. Put it in there. I'm gonna move him to the side. And then we're gonna take this reference. So we got our squids and we got that. And then this is reference, reference. And then we got our squids, squids. And then here we will do the cup. So let's take our reference and put it over here. I know it's low res, but whatever. <laughs> Use your imagination, people. So locking that, okay. Oh, thanks, Ligma. That's so awesome of you. Thank you. More little heart bits in there. Aw, some little love bits. <laughs> Looks like it's drowning, kind of. The lick one. Okay, Just Informed likes the lick. Ligma, which one do you like? Looks like he's drinking. Yeah, not drowning. Sorry. I, even though I have my glasses, it's hard for me to read. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should go to the doctor once again. <laughs> Should we do lick? That was my initial thought. Grumpy, of course you like grumpy. <laughs> like he's stuck in the cup. Yeah, I know, right? It's so funny. We, I don't know how this happened, but we basically designed three excellent cup designs. But you know what I could do? Since I'm also <laughs> favoring the lick one, I'll do the lick one this time. And then it's possible that for some of our other streams, because as you know, we stream with um, rotate the design question mark. Yes, we can do anything. We can do it all. 
Um, so we have a, a we have basically four streams that we kind of do. We have um, a video game stream, which will be next week on Thursday. So join us for people in the industry playing video games um, together. <laughs> Probably not doing too well. Usually these industry people don't play video games that well. But so what if we have like a, a grumpy one for video game? Um, the you know the cool one for interview or whatever because we do ones that are just straight interviews. Um, we also do crafts, crafts, crafting with friends, um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, wrote the multifunctional. Yes, we are multi. Yes, we can use. So we need. I need to do stuff for you guys each Friday, so <laughs> let's start with the lick one and then maybe next week Friday I'll do a different one. Um, but what will be kind of, or maybe I'll do it offline because it might be actually really easy because I can keep the same arms and just switch out the faces. Because that's how you gotta be a good designer. You gotta know how to work quickly and fix things quickly. So I think that's what we'll do guys. We'll do the lick one today. Today is lick. Oh gosh, I forgot I'm on a PC. So I kind of like the front two legs. Or right, let's just take the head first. We'll take the head and then we'll figure out the rest later. Sometimes thinking too much messes me up. I mean, everyone's a different kind of uh, artist. You know, some really plan out their sketches. Some just go for it, and I'm kind of one of those go for it people. <laughs> so, that is funny. I shouldn't have put a background. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have screen grabbed it with a background. I should have, you know, actually thought this out better. Like I said, I'm one of those people who <laughs> don't think things completely fully through. Uh oh, did I just, oops. I'm trying to make the cup bigger, but it's like a little insane. Okay, like this maybe? Oh, did we do it? Is that it? Yeah, that's bigger, okay. That's better. Oh, come on, what the hell? Why is it doing that? All right, fine. Um, okay, we got this cup. I like it a little bigger. So we'll put this orange face in here and we'll group it so we have the face for sure. Let's make it bigger. Because these cups are kind of small. If you look at the stream, like it's, we, we gotta size it up a little bit. Um, like that. All right, I'm done. That's perfect. Just a floating head. We're good. Have a great Friday, everyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll do a little more work. <laughs> ah, don't you love when your hot tea splashes you in the face when you're trying to drink it? Yeah, it's a real good wake up for a Friday morning. Um, so we got that. Let me see how I layered this. Is it easy for me to grab one leg? Oh, wow. I am quite surprised. I did make it easy to <laughs> just grab one leg. Um, <laughs> burn, yes. Burn, baby, burn. So things kind of got messed up in my layers when I transferred them to this document. So I'm just um, duplicating and uh, deleting just to get to, look at that really awesome arm right there. Wow. So I'm gonna group this and also pull that into my main layer. And let's see how we can make this work. So that is still, and to help you and me, 
I'm going to just outline the cup. Oh my gosh, that almost perfectly lines up. My job is gonna be so easy today. <laughs> we can just hang out and talk if you guys want. <laughs> Fine, whatever, I don't want to talk to you guys either. <laughs> um, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna outline the cup actually because it will just easy, be easier for all of us to see. <laughs> oh yeah, another new thing about our channel is um, for those of you who are subscribers, thank you. You get special treatment. You can bounce whatever emotes you want over my screen. You can try to even hit me in the head with an emote if you do. I will just give you a mental high five. We'll, we'll like, I'll look into the screen. We're gonna go like this. Be like, you did it. High five. <laughs> so if you are able to bounce one, oh my God, oh sh I can't curse on this channel, but let me see. Aha, just informed, high five. <laughs> Thank you for bouncing those bits, especially our angry squid. <laughs> Boom, on first try, that's pretty amazing. Um, so I was going to outline just roughly so we can all see what the cup parameters are. And obviously I'm uh, working on the inside of the cup first. I think it's like this. Oh, what happened? What'd you do? Like this, uh-huh. I think I see it like this. Is that right? I should have taken a better screen grab of this. I think it's like this. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Or does it? That's pretty good. Ah, that's not what I wanted. It's a shift X. Yeah, now for my stroke. Let's make it red, because red is like authoritarian. Ah, not you. Um, let's go red. Cool. Where did that go? Oh, right there. All right, so we can kind of see the parameters the parameters. So that's kind of the bottom of it, and then this arm. And we're gonna kind of exaggerate the arms, cause why not, we do what we want. So he's gonna sit on it. Plus this isn't an exact drawing, so, you know. Um, now we will take the other arm. Actually, save your document. Oh, you missed. Nice try though, but thanks for the bits. <laughs> Thank you, Ligma. Um, wow, we're already at 15 out of our 25,000 for some random surprise that no one knows is gonna happen. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. So <laughs> that's interesting. I hope it's good. <laughs> All right, let's grab that other arm. Come here. Look at that. This is why you work with groups in your layers. Because you never know what you want to do to your art later. You never know. Okay. Awesome. Now we got this other arm here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh my God. That is fun. I mean, they're both gonna go, the slime will be on top and we'll have to make some tweaks or whatever, but this is already looking pretty good. Uh, my top spot has been taken. <laughs> it, it's a challenge. It's <laughs> so I love to stream with you guys on Friday cause it's like, ah, it's the weekend coming up. This is so fantastic. It's Father's Day coming up, I don't know what you guys are doing for your dads. Um, my parents actually have their, 
I don't even know how many years they've been married. It's so many. I, I want to say it's almost 50, if not 50. <laughs> um, and it's their anniversary also on Sunday. So it's my dad's all like, Oh yeah, I, I don't mind, we can do whatever. I mean, we can go get Chinese food or anything you want. And then my mom's like, no, we should do steak. <laughs> like such a Father's Day thing. It's like, no, we're doing, we're doing steak. <laughs> She's a smart woman. She's like, well, I'm gonna take advantage of this day. <laughs> my dad just, uh, they, yeah, they're great parents. But uh, I want steak too. I, I haven't had steak probably since last Father's Day. <laughs> She runs the shots, yes she does. You know moms. <laughs> All right, so these other two legs, I'm going to draw, I think, but I kind of like these back parts. Um, you'll see what I'll, you're, you'll see what I'm saying. You'll see what I'm saying. So I'm continuously pushing the wrong button. Oops. because this is a PC. So I like this. This right here. Oops. Let's see if I can use it. I try to use as much as possible. Woo. Mm -mm. That is cool. Um, so this isn't ideal because I wanted the arms to come up and over. So let's see, what if I lift the whole squid like he's trying to come up? And then I'll redraw the tips. So maybe I'll have one leg going down. One leg coming up and over. Hmm. So you'll see what I mean in a sec. So he's trying to push himself kind of up is what I'm sort of thinking. So let's use my favorite tool, the blob brush. Let me make sure that the right stuff is going on. Yes, pressure sensitive. So we're going to have one of his back legs kind of, you know, come down like that. And then this I'm going to fix, I'm gonna change so that his arm's going to be over like that. And this, arm will be just slightly over and to the side. And then who cares about the back one? You can't see it, it's fine. So that's kind of what I'm picturing. This leg I definitely have to fix. I drew it very quickly. But I also don't want it to be too straight and I wanna make sure that it comes... Oh, that's too far down anyway because the bottom of the glass, I see. So it'll be more like... It'll be funny if it's kinda of like a foot in a way. and then some sections here. Yeah, something like that. You guys kind of seeing what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, guys? 
So it'll be easy like that. And we can imagine that the back leg is also kind of pulling, pushing himself up. So that way, like, he's not completely drowning, you know, when they're, when this fills up with cheer, cheer bits. <laughs> um, he's like happily <laughs> just in there. Um, so let me save and then we'll put the lines. Um, and it shouldn't take too long. So if you guys uh, want to let me know what you're doing for your Father's Day stuff, it doesn't have to be something for your dad. Maybe you feel like the man of the house and you take yourself out on Father's Day and you buy yourself a steak. You guys have any uh, fun plans? So, how do I want to do this? I think I will start with the bottom foot. So I will grab my blacks. My aunt is in town. Well, she is she the dad? <laughs> And my sister is graduating college on Father's Day, so I get to, <laughs> so I, so I get to get measles. Oh shoot, that's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> aunt Dad. <laughs> hey, Aunt Dad. <laughs> What's up, Aunt Dad? Yeah, I try to stay away from all children. I call them children, but they're not. <laughs> Anyone younger than me, uh, unless I work with them, I'm kind of like. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> weird college kids, yeah. Yep, I agree. We were all weird college kids at one point. <laughs> um, so where's my transparency? Because this isn't my computer. Okay, here we go. Put that to around 39%. Yeah, I can still see that. And now I will lock them and I will do the real drawings. True, true, true. That's the real true, true. Um, let's see. So I got my black and then let's do, oh, that's too thin. I'm gonna have to turn off the reference. So one thing I like about scribbling, you know, trying to get your concept down, is sometimes you realize that you find some really interesting lines that help your design. So I didn't mean to do this, but I see this line right here. And that actually might work really well for me as the underbelly of the arm. And I didn't think about that before, but I kind of like it. So we'll, I, I, that's why it's really good to scribble your designs probably take longer than I just did scribbling them because you, you can spend more time finding some really beautiful lines to pull from. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident and because this is a such a small drawing. If it was something that was larger scale, I would definitely spend more time sketching. But since this is gonna be so tiny in that cup, um, it's, uh, to me, I think, I don't need to, but. <laughs> and hopefully it will just be covered anyways with, with bits. So you guys are actually pretty lucky because you get to listen to music and I'm in complete silence. Ah, I hate these keyboards. I'm just gonna do it again. It's okay to like totally erase what you did and just start over again because sometimes it takes longer to fix something than it is to just redraw it. And you should have confidence in yourself anyways. So I'm also trying to match the thicknesses of the strokes in the other areas. This looks a little, a little too thick. So I'm just gonna pinch it in a little bit. And I should probably do this after I'm happy putting my lines down, but each artist works in their own way of what they find enjoyable. 
and what they like to do. For me, I, I love um, line work. No excuses. Ooh, these guys are making me work. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I wanted. Okay. So I'm trying to get that little thin, thick in the fold line, but the way that this brush works is it's a lot easier to start with your thin line. So I'm gonna turn off these reference lines. And just kind of look at this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've, I'm liking it. Let's see. Let's move a little further along. <laughs> so you also want to make sure that the legs around the same length for all of them. Um, so I'm picturing Something like that for the under. For the underline of it. Now we can get rid of these lines. Right here, get rid of that reference. And put these two together. Okay. Do what I say. There we go. Now let's do some of those circles. Some squiddy suction cup circles. Should the back tentacle be down almost like they are legs? Um, I kind of like the weirdness of it. This is just my thinking. So, I, I don't, I think that it's cool to push up with one leg, like you're really reaching. You know, when you're trying to stand and get out of something, you don't stand on two legs. You stand on one leg and your arms kind of reach up. So, I'm picturing his other l arm leg, whatever you want to call it, the back one, also reaching up if you gets what I mean. You know when you reach for the cookie jar and you're a child and you're like not supposed to eat any more cookies and they put it on a shelf that's too high? <laughs> you go, ooh, and you stand on one foot on your tippy toe. <laughs> Oops. I guess the back tentacle is more in frame. I guess if the back tentacle is more in frame. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Do you want the back tentacle more in frame? <laughs> Let me see, this is the cup. And so I'm picturing it behind his head. It's like cupping the cup and kind of lifting him up. So you want the back tentacle to be seen more. Is, is that what you're saying? Because I can do, you know, just stick the end of the tentacle out. <laughs> it's also not very important in a small, tiny area. So I appreciate the, you know, perspective, but it's gonna be so small and having all four legs shown, it's kind of, you know, with the cheer bits inside and everything, it may not be too important. But I could do like, you know, have the tentacle sticking his other arm out for the cup to, to have it shown. So if that's it over there, I can maybe stick it over here or something. But it'll also depend because the most important one is this one right here. This, uh, the one that I'm gonna make over here that's sticking over the cup. So we'll see. I'll save that one for last and we'll we'll get back to that. But thank you for the perspective. 
So I think something like that. This one's too big. Trying to match something you drew a few days ago is kind of hard. <laughs> Actually, like a few weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was just a week. <laughs> Time is a weird thing. Time is a weird mistress. Okay, so we got those down. Let's color this tentacle. Let's color this tentacle. <laughs> How many times have you ever said that in your life? All right, let's color that tentacle. Hmm, okay. Lock. Good thing we already have our colors picked. Let me see if I like the size of those. Hmm, I think they need to be bigger. Come on. Like these can be small. And then those are big, yeah, like that. That's good. And now back to that thought. So I had it just like Just like that, happy little suction cups. They're kind of like little smiles. I didn't mean to design it that way. <clears throat> they are little smiles. Cool. So we got those sections. <clears throat> now let's color in this tentacle. So for filling larger areas, I just use the um, pencil tool to just kind of fill in a shape. And now let's do some of the pretty highlights. That's not the right color. Okay, I see. And then some minor adjusting. Ooh, look at that. Woohoo. Fill in this area. Like so. And this we can just use the blush. The brush. Let's group it all together to not drive me insane and have some nice nice layers. And now we will add the shading. Ugh, but it's always good to stretch once in a while. Ugh. I don't know if, uh, if you sit all day <laughs> for your jobs or do you sit while you watch streams, but it's good to, to stretch. So if you haven't stretched today or hydrated, please join me. All right, so now let's add some shadow. There'll definitely be shadow under here. 
and probably going up to here. I'm not a shadow expert, I just do what I think in my mind looks right. Hey, where'd my pen go? There it is. So. What? How did that happen? There we go. So we can start to see this coming together. Obviously, I need to fix a few areas. Let's just do that real quick. just so we can see what's going on. Where is this? Oh, over here. There. So I definitely want this smoother right here. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these points actually and just make sure it's one smooth curve right there. So that's how I'm imagining. <laughs> yoga, twitch yoga. Yeah, if you guys want to do some yoga, do some squid pose, you know, <laughs> maybe we can figure out what we can do there. Where did I put this? Oh yeah. I'm just imagining a little crease in here. Just a little crease. And definitely a crease or a shadow going along the back. That looks good. So now back to our highlights, I imagine the sun hitting it right here on the tip here and over here. Now let's see if my guessing works. So this upper leg is going to be blocking some of the shadow, so like that. Maybe I get rid of that crease right there. I don't know if we need that. And then bring these up a smidge. And I think we have something there. I kind of want to make this bigger because sun will be hitting a good amount of this because it's flat and yeah, sort of flat at least the way i'm making it it is so yeah like that and there we go we have a one new squid leg now that's some yoga that's some yoga leg right there look at that it's gonna be dope it's gonna be like, yeah, just leave me in here. Drown me in cheer. <laughs> I'm almost out of liquid, so we're going to have to finish this. <laughs> um, all right, so we just have the tips of the other two, and then we'll take a look at that back leg, that back back leg, the one behind his head. Um, but we're almost done guys. This is gonna be an awesome new cheer cup um, in the near future I would love to do a little bit of animation on the cheer cup either the slime dripping or The tentacles kind of just tap in on the glass We'll figure it out if you hang out long enough <laughs> On another stream we'll figure it out Fridays are design days <laughs> As for at least for now, just keep, just follow the channel. <laughs> okay, so let's do his arm over there. Oh, actually, let me just organize these weird layers real quick. Um, all of this I wanna put together. One, two, three. So 
So that and that. What is this? What's that arm? And that's this suction. Oh no. Where are these? Oh, there they are. Okay. So put my layers together. What the? Group. All right. So is this one? Yes. It's always good. Good to label and organize your layers. Hmm, what is this? Okay, we're gonna work on that arm now. This one right here. God, he's so cute. Look at him. What a cutie. Okay, I'm just gonna save. What did I just do? All right, save, I say. Just do those tips. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. Let me try something. Oh, we've only been streaming for 51 minutes. 51. 51 minutes. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to do this arm. I kind of want to redraw it because I like redrawing. <laughs> um, let me... I don't really have to redraw it, but... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna lock all these layers. I'm just gonna redraw this area and see if I wanna redraw the rest. So that, mm -mm -mm -mm. oops, that's, I need black, black of night. What is going on here? What are these? Give me the black. What the hell? All right, there we go. It will be just coming out like this. Oh, that's such a cute little hand. I think it will be like that. Let me turn off oh, this layer. Oh, whoa, squid arms. Where'd those come from? <laughs> Ah, uh, to adjust. Okay. I like the cuteness of this little hand here. But let me redraw it. So now that I like that one, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm going to make this my template and redraw it. Because I like it. All right, so thin here, and then thicker, like that. A Pikachu! Oh, that's an angry Pikachu. Oh, what's going on with that one? He's wearing like a whole headset. Is that a new kind of Pokemon? <laughs> Is that how they evolve? They wear clothes? Okay, I like that, I'll get rid of that. And where is this leg? So what I'm gonna do, just cause whatever, I can do whatever. <laughs> I kinda wanna redraw it just to be a little more precise. So this arm is coming down like this. Oops. I don't want to be too thick. Oh, did it? Okay, that's fine. I didn't originally want it to touch, but I can always chop it up in Photoshop if I want to. Uh, you know, to do the layers as I was uh, explaining before, how we're gonna have to cheat OBS in order to get it 
um, looking like it's in the cup, having the arms on one layer in front of the cup and then the body uh, behind it. Lucha Libre Pikachu. <laughs> Got it. So I didn't originally want to redraw it, but I think that this works out better. So actually this would, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how that would work because it's at the side a little bit now. Okay. I think something like that. And then let's put these sections. Actually, I can keep, let, let me keep the sections then. I can keep most of the sections. The sections. I'll have to erase this. And this. Actually, I'll just get rid of that. And this needs to be adjusted. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Looking good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Turn that off. And let's color. I probably could have kept the same leg but whatever sometimes it's quicker to just redraw something than it is to manipulate something that you already drew um, to make it work and sometimes work on some areas that you're really forcing and it ends up just looking <laughs> really forced for lack of better words So I will have to clean up this area, that's okay. If this was a more complicated character, I may have tried to keep more of the uh, original, but since this is like a really fluid character, it's just really fun to draw and I, I don't really mind redrawing the arms. Okay, we're getting there. Hmm, there's something off with this area. I'm wondering if I just need to move these. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Oh, that might be cut off by the cup anyways, which is fine. I kind of want it to be in more like that. Of course, these are thoughts I should have had earlier when I was just doing the line. But it's fixable. Mm 
All right. <laughs> Pardon me. All right, so let's do the shadow and highlight thing. That shadow and highlight thing. So, the sun, I'm seeing or imagining it coming from this way. So there'll be more shine from here. It's the wrong color. I do also want a little shine coming I think it would be more like this. Yeah. So, I like that cat. You're finding some really good emails. Just seeing what it looks like rounded off. Yeah, I think that's that's what it will be. So this will be like this. with a little rounding off here. Oops. Yeah, the light is hitting it that way. be some light here too. I think so. I think there is. That's looking good to me. I'm just imagining some shininess happening. Thanks, Ligma. You know, with the reflection of like the glass and things shining off the glass, I think there'll be some rim lighting, which is my favorite kind of lighting because it's really easy. <laughs> um, let's do the shadows now. Let me save. Shadows, and there are no shadows. I'm just kidding. Shadow there. Maybe just, I don't know. Maybe here. And over here. 
because the head is probably casting some shadow right here. We just have the other leg and then some clean up around where the slime is to put things on the right layer and then we'll be done. And off screen I will uh, chop it up and um, set it up so that it looks transparent, translucent and um, on our next stream you can check it out. So thanks guys for hanging with me. We'll still stream a little longer, do that last leg. Um, I don't think it needs another Actually, what I could do, nah. I don't want to do too much in this area because it's just going to confuse or distract with how small it will actually be. So not showing that tip of the third leg, I think our imagination can help um, solve that it's behind the head doing something else. So that will be that. So last leg. And it's good to save. <laughs> and I'm out of water, so we're going to have to finish quick. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting cross-legged now. Can you guys still hear me? I just think I pushed a button on the mic. No hydration for you. Let me see. Is this still on? OK, cool, yeah. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> um, okay, this last leg. Scoot in. So this was, where is this? Not the leg before. Just out of curiosity, let's just look at it. So the leg before and the leg now. Not, a, not much in the way of difference, really which is okay. What is this line? Oh. Let me put that back in there. Organize my legs. Yep, yep, and that's that. With this over here, okay. So yeah, this one's going to hang a little lower um, than the other arm because I just want I want it to look asymmetrical in a way. I want like, and I also want the legs to look around the same length. So since this one's a little higher up, it would be, sorry, what's, yeah, this arm will hang over a little more because this one only has the tip. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay, so this one I'm gonna save a lot more of it. I'm gonna save most of that leg. I'm going to continue. I continue it up like this. All right, so I can delete this. So I'm gonna have to have this start to curve over like that. So let me get rid of a few sections because they are distracting me. So these will be gone. This will be gone. Oop, not that. That will stay. be gone and you will be gone and you lock 
that and so this will be erased so i hope you're starting to see what i'm working with here this actually goes away this it's going to start to curve up that so as you can see we can keep most of this I do want to, I think I want to fix the tip of that one because it's not very pointy like the other ones. So this I want pointier. Now at least that's a little closer to the pointiness. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's finish this up. Goodbye, goodbye. Sometimes it's great having other elements so you can kind of hide connecting areas behind them when you're redrawing them, like what I'm about to do here. match the thickness. We need the underside. Why'd you do that? I want black. So we need the underside. Like that. Let's see if it's the right thickness. No, we need to do thicker. What is this? 
Why is there a blob right here? Oh, I guess I did do that. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna get this right. don't like that harsh maybe that's better I'll just manually pinch it in then pinch all right He thinks we got it. <laughs> I booped? You booped me? I didn't see it. Did you boop? Did you boop, Ligma? I did not see it. I'm going to um, believe you guys, even though I didn't see it. I'll believe the boop. And Ligma, high five. <laughs> Thank you for the boop. <laughs> Look at that happy little cheer cup. Can't wait to put a squid in there. Boop. It doesn't count, boops don't count when I'm full screen. <laughs> Um, all right, let's color you in. Down. Oh. It's every time I'm looking down you do that. <laughs> Did you hit me? Ooh, nacho kitty. All right, I'm looking. Just seeing if you're doing it. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. <laughs> you're always looking down. Yeah, why? How dare I work? Oh, <laughs> darn it, the camera's backwards. But fair is fair, and you booped. Thank you for booping. High five. <laughs> You're pretty good. I have to learn like left is right and right is left so I can dodge these suckers like. Um, let's color. Um, we're coloring in our slimy squid. Our slimy, licky squid. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, no. You got me again. <laughs> Damn it, you got me. All right. I owe you some full screen because uh, I want to finish this drawing, but. Touche. I tried to dodge it, but I, it still got me. I have to like, uh, uh. <laughs> Attacked by Pokemon. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta catch them all with my mouth. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? That's right, coloring. Let's do highlight first. I think there'll be a large highlight on this arm. Like that. Ok, 
Okay. And then probably not much of a shadow too much here. Where is... Uh -huh. So I want to kind of join it to get a smooth curve, so I'm going to attach it down there. So now you can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, it just gives it a smoother line. Um, but I think this will be a little shadow. And That will be a shadow. Mm, mm, mm. This is looking good, people. Now to just do the suction cup and clean up the center area, and we're good. And we good. Let me uncheck those. I feel like where's my correct button? I know I could just draw these circles, but I don't really want to. draw this just because it's way too obvious that I just copied that layer. So. <laughs> cool. And the, oh, I have to redo this, the highlight here. Um, so I'm going to, do, 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 this goes in here. And this can be grabbed. Oh no, there's a thing here. Cool. Let's do the shadows. Oh, I didn't do uh, highlights on uh, that, that tentacle either. Jeez, slacking. Forgetful, but that's okay. We're actually never, when we do art, we're actually never done. We just decide to stop, is all. I think that's a quote by Dolly. <laughs> I 
I think he said we, we just put down our, our, our tools or something. I forget what he said exactly. Yeah, and that works better because you know when you press up against the glass that it does have a different color. So that's cool. Let me save. And then we'll do the highlights underneath of the tentacle on the other arm and then I'll fix the slime and then we good. Then we good, people. Oh, it's the wrong color. We did the orange. All right. Nice. Mm hmm. I think that goes down here. Of course, unlock your layers. Okay, a little further down. And where is this? Oh, it's in the other layer. Gee, too many layers. I know no one's gonna see these tiny details, but I'll know they're there, so that's why we do them. Cool, now we fix the slime. Oh, hey, Impostry, thanks for joining. Um, Impostry does uh, all kinds of stuff. She works on comic books, she sews, she's we're getting ready for a convention right now. So um, she's been in, in con prep mode. So if you want to check out a cool artist, Impostry does all kinds of stuff. Um, she even helps me with my art. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to do uh, one of our Cabillion squids, one of our mascots. Let's see. They're on our, our stickers and stuff. Let's see. Ooh, shiny stickers. So we got like different kinds of squids that focus on different kinds of emotions. Um, <laughs> so you can see the grumpy one was manipulated from this concept of the sticker. Um, but obviously we're an animation studio and you know, this is a flat 2D sticker so we just give a little more personality on these. Um, but yeah, we wanted to do something with the, the boring cheer cup right here. <laughs> so we're gonna make it a little more interesting but we're almost done I'm just cleaning up the slime um, over here and then I think we will be done for today so we're almost there guys bear with me oh look at that so just to clean up some stuff like what is this I don't know and then like this area here, don't know what's going on with that. That's what happens when you reuse layers. <laughs> a 
What is this? Oh, I see. I'm just gonna do that then. Problem solving. Okay. Almost. <laughs> just informed is grumpy. What are all of these things? Get out of here. What's that? Wow, he has a wonky head. Look at that. Can't let you go out in public like that. All right, that's better. Hmm. Ah, so annoying. It's like, you know what I'm trying to click program? I forgot to switch the camera back. Or maybe I just wanted you guys to see my beautiful face. Look, I hope you're enjoying the stream. <laughs> That's what happens when you get too involved. line. This. Gah, what is this PC mess? Okay. So let's see. I think we almost done. I mean, no one's gonna see it like to this extent, this close up, but. Just gotta try to do a good job. So everyone's watching, okay? Gotta do a good job. Gotta do a good job for you. Sweet. I think we did it, guys. Looks like that's all lining up. It's looking good. So I'm gonna chop it up in Photoshop, um, put the front tentacles that are over the glass, I'm gonna put that on a layer, and then I'm gonna put that in front of the cup in OBS, and then I'm going to take the rest of his body and the legs and all of that, and then I'm gonna put that behind the cup so that you can, so it looks like he's in the cup. And it will look like he is standing in bits. <laughs> so I think that's, uh, we have it there. Thank you everyone who have uh, joined, joined me today. Uh, I have continuously been streaming on Fridays, 10 a.m. for Kabillion, just doing graphic design stuff for the channel. So if you yourself are a streamer and wanna see um, possibilities in other design methods or things that we have thought of for doing our channel on our channel, uh, come and stop in. Um, if you're a, a subscriber, you can check our past streams. Yesterday, Justin and Kaya, our regular hosts, talked all about E3, showed some swag, talked about the con over the past couple of years um, in comparison to this year, what was trending, things like that. Um, if you're not a subscriber, uh, on our YouTube, Kabillion YouTube, um, you can check out um, past broadcasts but it will take a couple a little bit of time for it to get there um, so be sure if you like some of our animated tv series you can check out full episodes on youtube some past broadcasts but if you really want to know and see the latest stuff you can 
think about subscribing to uh, to our Twitch channel. Um, and so Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be binging Bobby's World. So if you want to hang out with me, Kaya, and Justin talking about Bobby's World and watching some episodes, join us at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Tuesday. And as you know, we're an animation industry and or studio in the industry, and we have a whole bunch of different amazing people we work with. We're going to surprise you with a guest on our Thursday lunch stream, so our 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Kai and Justin will be once again hosting with a surprise guest playing some, I believe, Nintendo Switch games. So if you want to hang out with some people from the industry, asking questions, just hanging out, uh, watching some video games, join us then. And I think that's gonna end it for today. Um, yes, it will be a surprise. Uh, thank you all for the bits. Um, thank you for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, industry. Um, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great weekend. You have survived the Kabillion HQ. Follow the channel.